Hey all and welcome to episode 41 of Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. We're, uh, first things first, we are going to set up our sludge refinery. Um, and then we're going to take a look. at uh too much stuff um said before we will probably get into uh maybe i'll just leave this open probably get back into thumbcraft um so that is probably what we'll do director is here as well Track always active. Hello? Maybe I don't make them active yet then. <clears throat> uh, so we're just running cabling for now. To where we will have our sludge refinery and what we're going to do after that is gonna be cool. Think. Sludge refinery is gonna be behind the drawers. Here. Doesn't need to be a big space. Um, but let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So I need nine drawers, none of which I had with me. Told myself I'd be ready, then I wasn't. Uh, really, we only need seven drawers. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven drawers. Because No, I guess we'll need, uh, yeah, I guess we'll need more. I'll just make nine and, uh, connect, connect the things. That's fine. That is fine. I'll have two drawers of sand and gravel. No biggie. Uh, three. All right. Now I don't think as long as it's connected to the drawer controller. So if I place these like right here I don't think uh, that'll be an issue. Um, maybe so, though. Um, drawer controller. Uh, 
at drawer. Maybe I need a drawer sleeve. This is gonna work. Um good. <clears throat> um I know what I'll do. I will put those in there. And then, okay, it does work. Great. Great. Sludge refiner. And just sit right there, I think. We'll extract on green. That is fine. You will only insert there extract can be always active for now this is all good and fine now i've got to turn on hold on not yet it's the plant gatherer This is why I love Ender IO conduits. <clears throat> All right, so now you extract. And light up and Uh, give me a wrench. Except not that wrench. Break the facade real quick. Oh, come on. Um, as I not looking at the right thing. Schmert. Show Schmert. Right here. Um, do not insert but extract. And you do not insert and extract. Great. So all that should be running back here and getting us stuff. Slowly filling up. It's a thousand mega buckets per thing. It's pretty slow, but it's uh, automatic. And once these fill up some, I will come back and check periodically. Um, we can do the thing. Break this grass here. We assumed trees would be planted over it. 
There we go. No other issues there. And our fisher's not going to be getting any power. But how's it been going? Awesome. So cool. That concludes for now our foray into industrial foregoing. Uh, Whoa, those are not good. Uh, Don't eat pufferfish. Oh boy. Glad the nausea's gone. Poison four. Holy cannoli. And I'll just tuck those in there. I did have more. Okay. Okay. Just gonna wait out this poison for a second. And uh, while we're just kind of doing that. Double check. Yeah, I think we've uh, completed everything there. So, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Getting into our tools would be neat. Eventually. This is what lets us build other dimensions. Yeah, right there. That would be cool. But, I've been saying I want to get back into Thomcraft. Um, and I've learned some uh, from reading and watching some how-tos. Narrator narrates all. No. Narrator off. Work table? No. Um, research table. <clears throat> Needs to be unlocked through research in the thom nom 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 con. Alright. It'll still be slow going through Thomcraft. It is my first time going through Thomcraft. So, continue to bear with me. Um. Discovering Oromancy. Slowly but surely, I'm beginning to understand the nature of Viz. So much is still hidden to me, but I think I now know enough to begin molding it to my will. For this, I will need a tool, a very special tool. I've stumbled upon some dusty scrolls, penned by long, de uh, by a long dead thaumaturge. It describes how to craft wands. Oh, caster's gauntlet. don't think that's where I want to go. Um, theory crafting. This is the thing. Um, black dye, feather, and glass file. How do I make this? Glass and clay. Okay. We could do that. Just make a bunch of them. Sure. I do not have ink sacks, huh? 
Well, turns out I have auto fishers that collect ink sacks every once in a while for me. So, take that, game. Alright. Scribing tools. Let's learn what there is about those. I should craft some scribing tools and place it upon a table. Okay, how do I make a table? Is it just called a table? Um, apparently. Do we want a stone table or a wooden table? I'm kind of feeling the stone table. It's complete golem press. Excuse me? Oh. Yeah, look at that. Um... Maybe it does need to be the wooden one, then. Making golems uses stone. That's fine. Let's make... Oh, come on. Two of these? I don't know. Made two. It's fine. It's fine. I did not need to. It's fine. What did I do? Paper goes up there. Okay. So, a research table. Great. Uh, let's look at the Thomnomicon. Deer crafting complete. Okay. So, now that I have a workspace, I should start performing some research. I can now formulate theories on how to manipulate magic to my own ends. Firstly, I should make sure the table has plenty of paper, and I have ample ink for my scribing tools. I can now choose to start researching the theory. At the top of the page, I'll see how much inspiration, represented by light bulbs, all right, is available to me for this round of research. When I do, a stack of paper will disappear. If I select them, I will be given the choice of two research paths I can follow. Each route will state that what knowledge it will grant me. Divide between one or more research categories. Some of the choices will require items. Items marked with a golden exclamation point will be consumed if the card is chosen. Normally, I'll only be able to pursue research categories that I've unlocked. Okay, cool. 
trying to further my knowledge. Um, each choice I make will cost some of my inspiration. Once I run out, the research will be completed. Not initial inspiration available to me will increase as my knowledge. Okay. I think I understand. My progress in research categories is shown as a percentage. <laughs> Okay, research aids. If I use certain nearby blocks, items, and curios during the research process, it'll allow me to focus my research in a certain direction. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's cool. Uh, phase of the moon and speed, which ore replenishes itself. Huh. That's cool. Zombie. Well, neat. These are all things that I have little idea about. Okay, we're going to stick with fundamentals for now and play around with um, our cool thing here. Form some random experiments, see if you can, if something can be gained. Huh. Uh, let's do that. Often much can be learned by concentrating substance into its purest form. Uh, fizz. Um, I do not have this. I can, though. Um. Do I have some of those little pieces of nether quartz? I do. I do. I'm actually going to keep my ring of magnetization off. Um. And I will 
for Y in a second. Grab a diamond. I know that has uh, aspects I'm looking for. D. So drop the diamond in and drop the. Ooh. Gain fifteen artifice on a bonus draw. Um Trioma and Fabrico. So I have Vitrium. Do I have Fabrico though? I don't think I do. I do not. How do I get it? I don't know. Uh, do I have any of those things? Crafting table has Fabrico. Let's go grab a crafting table. It's a normal bench. These fish sandwiches. We should have a bunch of fabrico now. Yeah. And oh, vitium. What gives me vitium? Paint change and mutation. That sounds scary. Um, ocean junk, nether wart. Potions, special arrows. Nether wart. Uh, let's drop into another wart. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Very rude. 
Um, we're actually already at wrap up point. Of course, I don't have another wart on me. Still growing it though. So we are going to finish up this research that we're working on. And, um,. Gonna look more into what we can do uh, coming up. Uh, just double check. Two nether wart it gives me that. So I wanna put in a four, right? Is that right? Am I understanding that right? I I actually have no idea. But, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that worked perfectly. Great. Anchor. Uh, let's do Potentia and Metallum. Not even there yet. So let's make a mine cart with TNT. Not super sure what all this is getting me. I guess it's selling me over here. All right. Uh, mind over matter. Um. So I need a dropper. Super duper easy. It will consume the dropper. Um, a moment of revelation shows you the common links between all you've been studying. Your total progress is split evenly amongst all currently revealed and valid categories. Oh. Sure. Christian Urba. Bistia. lying right to me. Alright. Where's this come from? Um, uh, leather. How about just leather? Um, So, and pork chop. I could do that. Let's do ten pork chop. All right. All right. Um, 
That was a lot more than I intended. Cool. A uh, moment of revelation shows you the common links between all of you. Uh, sure, let's do that again. Alright, what did I... What did all of that mean? Did these go up? Is that what that was? Yes? Alright, well, we did that thing. I'm not certain what exactly it was, but we did it, and we will continue doing stuff. Uh, we will need more quartz slippers before doing much more, though. Uh, yeah, cool. Um, I'm gonna look more into Thomcraft, so, uh... So we're not quite so blind. But it'll be good. It'll be good and great. Um. Yeah. Um. Let me know. Uh. Any hints or tips or tricks. About. Thomcraft. That would be great. Otherwise, we're just gonna kind of keep going blind a little bit. Um, which is also fine. Dangerous, but fine. And, uh, yeah. Continue on. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for staring at the sun.